Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and implementation testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the credential harvester method of social engineering. So I'll just go ahead and start the SE toolkit and I'll hit enter. And once you go and see, you can see over here uh, the social engineering attacks. Just type one and hit enter. And then we have different attacks over here, website attack vendors. Infectious media generator creating a payload and listener, which is one of my favorite and the mass mailer attack uh, Arduino based attack vector. So I'll just explain these to you what these are in general Spear phishing attack is targeting something someone in specific and uh, That's what I taught you in the previous tutorial in the second one. We have a website attack vector So we have the Java applet attack method in this method, we normally go ahead and send a pop-up on the victim's computer at his IP address stating, stating that he needs to go ahead and run this Java and which is disabled. You know, for, in order for him to go ahead and uh, actually run this, he needs to go ahead and update this and he will get some kind of Java error. Uh, let me check if my I have my internet up. I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. I believe it's still down. Yep, it is down, I believe. Okay, never mind. So, uh, but normally you know what a Java pop-up looks like. It will ask you whether you want to run it or not. So, okay, fine, never mind. So, once you go ahead and run that, it will ask you to go ahead and run that. And once you go ahead and run that, uh, it will auto the payload will already be executed in your system, and it will remain till your browser is open. So, what the attacker needs to do is he needs to go ahead and quickly migrate it to any other specific task, so that if the browser is closed, the attack will still continue on. We have the Metasploit browser exploit method uh, attacking cookies and DNS cache memories. We have the credential harvester method, which I would be teaching you in this tutorial. The tab nabbing, web jacking and multi-attack method is the best of all because it, it's a combination of multiple methods and then we have the mass mailer attack. I won't be teaching you creating a payload and listener, I'll be teaching that to you in the last because that is the best of all. And we have the mass mailer attack. In this attack, we normally go ahead and send uh, our DDOs a specific email ID with n number of emails. And that is two which I'll be teaching you in the next tutorial uh, and that is not that big and it is normally DDoSing a person so that he won't be able to use his email ID and redirect him only to go ahead and use one specific email that you want him to see and then you will be able to attack him. And we have an Arduino based attack vector and this is normally related to your let's say your uh, Android operating systems and Android chipsets which is the Arduino based so we have these different types of attacks and these are which I will be teaching you when we uh, come to the Android hacking uh, chapter so these are PowerShell that we can go ahead and open on or the genome widget that we can go ahead and open on targeted uh, Android uh, thing and then we have the wireless attack attack converter that you go ahead and create a fake access point people try to go people think that you, you're trying to impersonate someone else for example let's say you go to a head to a mcdonald's um, uh, cafe and mcdonald's shop or not shop exactly cafe i believe that's the right term so you go ahead and use go ahead and visit to the mcdonald's and uh, you can you see over there that there, there is a fake wi-fi so what i normally do is that I open my Cal Linux on the laptop. I see that the there is an open uh, public Wi-Fi hotspot that anyone can go ahead and access. So what I would do is that I will go ahead and block that hotspot so that no one is able to access that. Only I will be able to access that. And then later on, I will create a fake access point uh, with the same name or just uh, one or two things different, one or two letters different. And all the people over there, they will not be able to connect to the original Wi-Fi hotspot, so they will connect through me. And once they connect through me, uh, they will be able to access the internet, And but still, I will be using the man-in-the-middle attack, that is MITM, and I will be able to gather all their information that I need by using the Alcorec NG, or we have several different sniffers to go ahead and gather these attacks, such as we have Ethercap, we have Wireshark that can go ahead and sniff all the traffic, even if it's a SSL uh, secure, then we can be able to go ahead and strip these things and access that. After that, we have the QR code generator. Just go ahead and uh, create any random QR code for any, let's say, any random uh, Android application or any computer application that you want. 
and upload it to a specific website once you go ahead and do that just go ahead and time 99 to exit because i won't be creating that right now so just go ahead and enter the url and as soon as the person goes ahead and scans your barcode he will straight away be uh, transferred to your url and once he's transferred to your url i don't need to say what all things you can do then we have PowerShell Tag Vectors that is specifically designed for Windows 8 and above which uses the PowerShell and which uses, uh, which has all the SAM database, secure uh, access manager, passwords inside that and I don't need to explain that in detail. Uh, if you are a security expert and you already know what it is exactly. And then we have finally the third party modules which have RAT and that's remote administrator tool and all those stuff. So. I'll just go and get back and I'll teach you as to how to create a fake phishing website. So I'll just go and start it from the very beginning. Okay, so once you are here by typing the SE toolkit, just select the first one, then select the second one that's website attack vectors, and then select the credential harvester method. So we are going to harvest the specific person's email ID or not an email ID, the password exactly, and type 3 and hit enter. And then we have web templates, custom import and site cloner. We would we want a specific site to go ahead and impersonate them. So I'll be selecting second that site cloner and I'll hit enter. And then we need to go ahead and use the IP address. So I'll just go ahead and type ifconfig and I'll be using my IP address so that when the attacker starts to access, he will be redirected to my computer and I'll hit enter. And we need the URL to clone. I believe my. Let's check if it is okay. Perfect. So I believe this is just a cast page. So my net is still down. I believe. Okay, no, it's working perfectly. Let me test. Okay, fine. It's working perfectly. 